And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres and the Chicago Cubs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started Ladies after this. Gentlemen, your Chicago Cubs. Just about to get underway. And on the hill, Cade Horton. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. And he deals. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Fouled off. He was late. Why to kick the pitch? Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the 0 2. That's the ball to Bogarts. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Righty delivers. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. Hard hit, right side. Toss to Naylor. And a couple of quick outs. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. This is not a team that's had much success driving the baseball so far this year. They have to rely on stringing hits together as opposed to scoring a lot of runs on homers, doubles, and triples. So it's hard to bunch runs together. And that's exhausting when your team is at the bottom of the league in slugging percentage and how much it takes, Boog, for you to put together a rally and put together a big inning. Just a difficult uh, thing to do consistently over a long season. So somehow, some way, somebody's going to have to find some power in this lineup so that they can have some easier wins and oh, enjoy this season a little bit more. Manny Machado at the plate and takes high there. Two outs, bases empty. That misses the zone. No, no. Two and oh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. The wind of the pitch. And that one ripped to left. Buxton makes the play, and that's the third out. Three up, three down for San Diego. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Wrigley Field, today's starting pitcher, Hugh Darvish. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today the pitch Matt Shaw the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one Shaw goes five feet 11 inches 185 pounds usually a shortstop but today he's starting at second base kicks and fires ground ball up the middle Kim gathers and throws the first one up one down time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup and Chris this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit how aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? 
Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it oh. leads to us scoring more runs. Nolan Jones, the next to hit, takes ball one. Well, the one thing he'll find is that a lot of the time the play is to your back. You're moving to your right. You've got to throw back to first base. That's the difference between shortstop and second. You're usually moving into the play at shortstop. Second base, not so much. Machado makes the catch. Two down. Good hard fastball up in curve. the zone right there. They the look field. really good coming in, oh, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Next to hit, Owen Casey. Ball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Two outs. Oh, one and one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Profar brings it in, and the inning is over. Scoreless after one. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Ooh, Tatis is so athletic. He probably could have carved out a career in other sports if he wanted, but he grew up in a baseball family with baseball in his blood. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. And he grounds one to the right side. Fires to first on the run, and they take care of Tatis for the out. The first baseman, number nine. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. That one know. not close. And yeah, that's ball one. No score here in the second. upstairs rusty valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us maybe the best name in the league <laughs> yeah that's a solid one no doubt i mean who's better to ask than you i kind of wonder if rusty is his actual name or just a nickname yeah no clue one down base is empty in there at the knees and a count two and one anyways rusty's got a good zone very good on the corners of the plate but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it next Bye. offering is Ooh. in for a strike Base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And the right-hander deals. Gets a piece and stays alive.
Two outs, base is empty. Kyle Higashioka getting ready to hit. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Working on a five-game hitting streak. Now fly ball to right center. On the move to the alley. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the friendly confines. The bottom of the inning. And now the, the first, first baseman, baseman, Josh Naylor. And a pitch. There's a strike. Darvish, a former all-star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. First, Cronenworth. That's one out the bottom of the second. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Not get a guy to roll over a little bit. Don't hit the ball on the ground. Kill some runs right. while you're at it. Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. He gets to balls that get by oh, oh. most One people break. at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes oh. it away. And that's outside. And one and one. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. The 2 1. Hard hit to third over to Cronenworth. That takes care of Buxton. That is good. The third baseman. Oh, yeah. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. That one's in there on one. pitch and that's off the inside edge and that's ball one and this is inside One off, two and two. Two down, nobody on. There he goes. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third, and he held up. Two outs. Bounce to the right. Oh. And foul ball. <laughs> Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, headed for two. And that's a double. 
Everything came together for him. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bullet the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ballgame. Dansby Swanson stands in. Comes into this one with more homers than anyone in the National League. On the ground, out to short. Kim with the throw to first, and the inning is over. Cubs leave one, will move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning. So digging in now for San Diego, jerks and pro far. Horton back to work. And that is in for a strike. It's 0 1. That's a strike. Oh, he's got a hard one. Two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Next pitch is downstairs. Too what close for me, partner, to take that 0 2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. The pitch. Oh, up dude. and in, and the count is even 2 and 2. Well, that curveball right there stayed up in the zone. And if it's going to be effective, he's going to have to finish the pitch, tease the strike zone, and get it down. Otherwise, it's going to eventually get hit really hard somewhere. Good job to fight that one off. And there's a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one ripped right center field. And it's into the gap. Throws to second, and that's a leadoff double. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Next is the designated hitter, Tucapita Marcano. Oh. Off the plate, inside. And that is ball one. And it's second. And there's a foul ball. That one fouled off. Pro far at second with nobody out. No, that one inside, the and the count is two and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two, two now and a curve is down and in still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches they've got him working hard out there the Padres looking to strike first here in game one of this three game set Swing and, a miss, and he struck him out 
not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Now, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Yeah, the batter down, Corey Howell. Foul ball there. Offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a foul straight back. And a one two. That's and another ball. ball. At the belt and fires. Three and ball. it's filled up. And a pitch. And he walked him. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Bogarts in the box now. Take strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Two on, one out. There's a strike. <laughs> Top of the third, no score. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Grounder might be two. Swanson, the toss to second. Double play. What a great killing to end the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed with the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Set for the bottom of the third, and here is Seiya Suzuki. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. The right-hander back to work. That's in there. Oh, and one. Well, oh, and one. we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that, that in this ballpark. The catcher. And now it's William Contreras. And a foul ball. the ground right side steps on first for the out the batter number four 
Here's the second baseman, Matt Shaw. He's 0 for 1. That's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Oh. One and one. to the right. And a pitch. That one misses. The count now two and two. It's a good take. The two two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. You can see he's trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Cubs are down quietly, and we are still scoreless. Set for the Maybe start of the inning. Diego. Stepping in for San the Diego, Ha Sung Kim. Kim. Kim, a former Gold Glove winner, 28 years old, and he's a native of South Korea. Pitch nope. misses. Ball, ball one. One ball. No strike. This one high in the air to left center. Gets under it. And there's one away. The third base, number 15. Here's Manny Machado. Over for one so far. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the what ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. One down, base is empty. Yeah. Fourth inning underway, no score. two-strike fastball nicely no, no. and just bunched him up it. on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Tatis stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call Tatis waits we tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away swings and misses struck him out Padres go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Bottom of 
bottom four. Lead and now the right fielder, the Nolan Jones. The right fielder. Nowhere. Well, here's an interesting stat on Darvish. He has more than 100 wins in his big league career. Mm -hmm. The only Japanese-born pitcher with more wins is Hideo Nomo, my former teammate. Yeah, there's the strike. You know, these Cubs, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits, so they might want to be a little more selective up there. And here it comes. Up the middle. One up, one down. The center fielder, number 28. So up now for Chicago, Owen Casey. That's off the mark, and it's one to know. The wind of the pitch. Back-to-back nope. -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And that's in there at the knees. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That misses the zone. Three and now three balls and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's ball four. Oh, ball four. Thank you, mate. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed now his that. spot. Hit or didn't offer three. at it. Now he has somebody yeah. to worry about over at first. Naylor. And now it's Josh Naylor grounded out his first time. Oh, this is outside. outside. One and oh. Casey at first, one gone. And a big swing and a miss. When you throw one a fastball ball, one by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Out of line, out towards center. Drops into the glove. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself now it's about, about it. the process. He did everything Five right, minutes. right there. Nothing to show for Five it. Minutes. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And next for the Cubs, Byron Buxton. First time up, he grounded to third. out but nothing going on two outs swing and a drive by Buxton deep to left profile going back on this one on the warning track and hauls it in. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. On to the top of the fifth we go. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Wrigley Field, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jake Cronenworth.
the pitch. What Not even close there. Okay, that's ball one. You know, these Padres just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. With just one hit in the game, they're clearly frustrated and searching for answers at this point. And that one in the air center field. And it drops in. So a man on base to start the inning. Now that only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boone, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. Think about frustration, though. It gets you nowhere as a hitter. It's easy to get there, but the best thing you can do is simplify the approach and take things one pitch at a time. Kicks and fires. Way out front for strike two. Oh, and two now. We try to get him to chase on a slider down and away. With two strikes, Macy. Some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a pitch. Way upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Action in the pen down there. Caleb Killian, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Assad getting loose as well. Runner at first with no outs here. That okay. one misses. Three and two now. Jerks in pro form. In the on-deck circle. <laughs> and that's the first out. Boy, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Now batting jerks in pro far. Doubled his first time up. That hey. one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. Man at first, one away. He deals. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. One ball. ball. There. Okay. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Good eye in that spot. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. And the right-hander deals. He goes down. 
Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Marcano in the box now. No balls in a strike. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Two outs. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, the last ten games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but... Great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Stepping in, Corey Howell. First and second, two down. On the ground. He takes it himself yep, to the bag, down. and that'll do it. Padres leave a pair. Still no score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here is O'Neill Cruz. Oh, yeah. Darvish back to work. This to third. Machado throws to first in time. And the leadoff man set down in their half the of the bat. Next to hit, Dansby Swanson. Grounded out his first time up. There's a strike. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Now that's a tough play for the infielder well, ranging back into the outfield. The There's part of them that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me on. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. That one the other way. Bogarts gets it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Top six. Now it's the second baseman, Xander Bogarts. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. The pitch. That's a slider for a strike. No ball. It really looks One like three. these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That's in there, but it's not even two. Base hit, center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. 
Kim hitting better against right-handers this year. So some reverse splits there. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Cade Horton won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Javier Assad gets the call from the pen. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The old one. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. With the go-ahead run at first. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Buxton snags it on the run. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. And now it's Manny Machado. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Ball of a state right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. And a pitch. Just oh. missed. Got to be real careful Perfect. here. 2 0. -oh. He's hunting for his pitch. One away. Tie game. Go ahead. Run stands at first. Here in game one of this three game set. Oh. Just oh. missed. Fernando Tatis Jr. in the San Diego on deck circle. See if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's the automatic. Calling oh, this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. One down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. And that one fouled off. Woo. Right through there for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And he deals. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Oh, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Cronenworth struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. And fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Bogarts at third. Machado on second. Tatis over at first with one away. Bounce to the left side. Base hit. One run is in. The throw home. 
He's in there. It's two zip. Well, this game is tied no more. Big time swing of the bat to drive in two. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in. Oh, that's a team to back up there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Two on, one out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball. No strike. Still only one out here in the inning. And another ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and deals. Just no. missed. Oh. is in for a strike. Three and one. one out. Runners at first and second. And they're all four, loaded four, up. Eight. The left wheeling, number 10. Jerks and Profile. The next up for the four, Padres. Four. Golden opportunity right here. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Base is loaded. One away. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Right-handed reliever. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Going oh, two now. On the ground a second. Might be two. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Pitcher made the pitch. And his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4-6-3 inning ending double play. Now the Cubs catcher, William Contreras. His righty lefty splits there. Contreras. pitch well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot and that one is lifted in the air touches down that's a hit so now back to the top of the order only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Matt Shaw digs in now. Fouled off. He was late.
Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Trey Turner. Man, it must be nice to pull a superstar off your bench, huh? With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. And that one fouled off. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Not close with that one. Going to count one and two. take that pitch that's as close as it gets here's a 2-2 pulled down the line this one hammer but it's foul nobody out runner first Just off the outside part of the plate. Nolan Jones to bat next. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that gets down for base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, like Zingy. Do opposing oh, pitchers yeah. start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Berg. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Now here's Nolan Jones. First pitch misses for ball one. Contreras, the lead runner out at second. Turner on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and he breaks his back. Oh. One, two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Casey. Owen Casey will hit next. This one chopped on the ground, but foul.
Runners at first and second with one goal. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Jan Gomes. Well, they're turning to a guy who can definitely put the ball in play right here. So good move in a big spot like this. Slider misses outside. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. It misses. It's a strikeout. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. Here's Josh Naylor. That's in there. It's 0-1. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Breaking ball, and that got him. Well, he's clearly looking pretty shaky out there right now. I think fatigue's starting to be a factor. Byron Buxton, the next cup to hit. Buxton swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. Clips the corner. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Oh. Good eye in that spot. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Two straight. And that's down it away. Mm -hmm. 
on the ground, right side. Bogarts handles the chance, tosses the first out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Cubs wind up leaving the bases loaded. They trail things here, two nothing. So remaining in the game defensively, Trey Turner. He entered the game to pinch hit and now man second base. And now the DH to Capita Marcano. The designated hitter to Capita Marcano. Swing and a drive, deep right field. And that one's gone into the bleachers. Third home run of the season. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Corey Howell, the next up for the Padres. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. No, that's and the ball. ball one. This one in the air. And there's one down. The batter number two, second base, Xander. So the San Diego Bogart. batting order turns over. Up now, the Padre leadoff man, Xander Bogarts. And a foul ball. Next Bye. offering is in for a strike. Just misses the mark outside the zone. One, Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Up the middle. On the run. Sends it over to first. Yeah. Elgarts retired. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. So up next, Hassan Kim. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one for strike two. Two pretty strike. nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. You're up there at the plate. You got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. Go, chase that time. ground to the right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it one in the inning and it comes from a rather unlikely power source it's now three nothing you're watching major league baseball on the show
bottom of the seventh. So up now for Chicago, O'Neill Cruz. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Outside corner, there's a strike. One. Swing and a miss. And yeah, the count one, one and two. two good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Oh, Just hot. misses with that one. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with two strikes. You just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. That one off the mark, and that is ball one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. On the ground to the left, Kim. Zips it across, yeah, it. two up, two down. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Now it'll be the Cubs' DH. Seiya Suzuki. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. one ball. Movement okay. in the bullpen. Aniel De Los Santos getting ready to go. Iriarte getting cranked up as well. Misses two and one. Ripped on the ground a second to first, and the Cubs go one, two, three. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. Still down three, nothing. Start it off. The first baseman, number 13, Manny Machado. Oh. Just oh. missed. Oh. 
to the right side. Trey Turner gloves it in plenty of time to first first out in the top of the eighth. Now batter the right fielder Fernando yeah, the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. That one's in there. That's strike one. one. one and that's downstairs one and outside. in the air shallow left field and it falls hooked around that pitch on the outside but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely and that takes quick strong wrist to pull that off and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion and now Jake Cronenworth fastball for a strike going to one To short could be two. There's oh. one on the first double play, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Padres three and the Cubs nothing. Back here at the friendly confines, and now William the Contreras. William. In there at the knees for a strike. You know, these Cubs, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Late with the swing there. One and two. Next pitch is outside. Two and two. a little bit low now in this three ball count down in the ball game you've got to be very selective take your walk if they'll give it to you here as he fouls it away man this has been impressive just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning he's given them a lot of length and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go Contreras started after it tried to hold up now a look to first no swing it's tough after falling behind a hitter or two balls and no go. strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start the against a new man. batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Turner batting for the second time, and that's strike one.
On the ground is short, could be two. Looks to second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And up next for Chicago, Nolan Jones. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And a foul ball. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. One and two. streak will live on at least another day. A little bit of a tense moment, Singy. Looked like that might be the end of it. I don't know. The way he's been going, his confidence must be sky high. So even if it takes until his last at bat, you get that sense that a hit's coming from this guy one way or another. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for you, Darvish. Great effort out of him as he exits in line for the win. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Robert Suarez. Here's Jan Gomes. Struck out swinging his first time. Oh. Yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Out to short. On the Bogarts. Double play. Yeah. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. So a job well done from the Friar bullpen that time. Through eight full. It's the Padres three and the Cubs nothing. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka. to the mound sneaks through base hit now battle the left field digging Jerickson. in is the switch inning outfielder Profar. Jerickson Profar one for three and there's the strike Cruz. 
Williams. Falls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Now Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Marcano. To Capita Marcano, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Hit on the ground might be two. They get one, and it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Padres three, and the Cubs nothing. Angel De Los Santos comes on now. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Leading off, Josh Four Naylor Cubs. now at the plate. The first baseman, Josh Naylor. Off the plate, one and zero. Oh. Just to the right side. Cronenworth steps on the bag. One out, bottom of the ninth. The left fielder, number 25. Byron. Buxton. Byron Buxton, the next cup to hit. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. In there at the knees. And the count is 0-2. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following oh, yeah. suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach. When you can hand the ball off to multiple arms, and get stability from all of their performances. Cruz at the plate now. That's ball one. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play high fly ball out of the left center field. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of the series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. A shutout in this one. 3 nothing. our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Cubs, no runs, four hits, no errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the